Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Get Out. Today I'm up at Chena Hot Springs Resort and over the next two weeks we're going to take a look at some of the activities that draw people all the way up here in the dead of winter. The resort is celebrating its 100th anniversary this August and they have more to offer than ever before. The main attraction over the years has been the hot springs and I'll tell you from personal experience that there's nothing better than a soak in its therapeutic waters. I say that the water is miracle. I say that it's better than Viagra. And you know, I mean, we have proof. I mean, we have more, more people having a good time than you can imagine. So uh, we say it is a miracle water. Carl says the water temperature averages about 106 degrees. And when the thermometer takes a big dip, it's very refreshing. I come up actually a lot in the summertime for some reason, but um, I think winter is, is my favorite time to come up and it's, it's nice to be in the hot springs when it's colder out. If the waters aren't enough, you can get a massage in one of the original homestead cabins to really ease those aches and pains. When, I, when the big person come in, I look it for the body posture and the energy level, the speech energy level. Sometimes it's tell you a lot of different things about a person. You'll also find plenty to do when you're not pampering your body. One truly Alaskan activity you'll find during the day is dog sled rides. Good dogs. I did rod veteran, Bill Cotter. Throughout the winter, he offers rides and lessons on this exciting sport. It's so uh, quiet, you know, compared to a snow machine. It's a beautiful way to travel, especially late at night when I'm on a race or something. The northern lights are always really beautiful. For those looking for other activities to get the heart racing, they also have flight scene tours, ice skating, snowshoeing, and backcountry skiing. When the sun sets, it's time to refuel yourself at the cozy bar and restaurant where you'll find a lot of good food and conversation. And if you still have the energy after dinner, you may want to catch a ride on their snow coach. They'll take you to a mountaintop yurt to view one of our state's biggest attractions, the Northern Lights. So instead of heading south this winter, you may want to head north to this historic resort. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's edition of Get Out. Till next week, I'm Brett Shepard, CBS 11 News.